everyone, welcome to another unboxing with Yoseka Stationery. Today we are very excited to be talking about the new cocktail series, gin-based cocktails here in front of you. It is the newest release from Sailor North America and it is a set of five pens, um, one, two, three, four, five. And um, these are actually a um, spin-off of a 2011 series from Sailor called the Cocktail Series, where Sailor released uh, one pen a year that was inspired by a different cocktail. Um, and that all culminated in uh, like last year when it was the 10th anniversary of the release and they released a box set of all 10 of the pens um, so this was a surprise this year to see this new sort of cocktail series um, inspired only by gin based cocktails and being released in a set of five these pens are available in fine uh, medium fine and me medium nibs and um, they each have their kind of unique characteristics and we've actually broken up the sets to make them available uh, individually on our website so so if you are interested in um, just one of the pens, you can check it out on our website. So I'll start off here by talking about this is the Violet Fizz. And you'll notice that a lot of these pens have, are they're really colorful for one thing, which the cocktail series pens kind of always are. They're always in these bright, fun colors. Um, but these in particular are really fun and they have um, sort of like different colors on their barrel and on their cap and on their finial and each one is kind of doing different things um, so this here is the violet fizz it is like a light lavender color um, and the barrel I don't know if you can see on camera but the barrel is like a solid lavender color um, and the cap is like a translucent lavender which is really cool um, it's a nice combination the cap finial is sort of like a pearly not even a pearly white, this is like a white white, I would say it's like a creamy white. Um, and then the end finial over here is a dark violet. That sort of reminds me almost of like Wicked Witch of the West vibes, which is another sailor pen. Um, this pen has silver trim, so it has the silver clip, um, the silver band over here, and then it has the rhodium plated nib. And then the grip section is actually matching, so it goes straight down from the barrel to the grip, and it's that same um, solid, opaque purple, it's not translucent. So this one is the Violet Fizz, really nice. I've never had a Violet Fizz before, but all of these cocktail inspired drinks make me want to try all of these cocktails. <laughs> um, the next one I'm actually really excited to talk about because it's my personal favorite. This one is the Gin Martini and it is um, a matching color on the cap and the barrel. It is a creamy transparent color with gold trim. No surprise there that I chose a gold trim pen to be my favorite. Um, and it has like a fiery red cap finial with the Sailor logo in the center right there. And then on the end finial, it is a little olive colored. And I love that. I actually really like the, how the creamy, transparent, and the olive color are playing off of one another. And I love how this pen like almost glows in the light um, because it's transparent or like semi-translucent. Um, and then, whoa, you take the cap off and the best part is that the grip section and the end finial are that matching olive color, obviously inspired by the olive that, that often finishes a gin-based, uh, a gin martini, um, and then a gold, a gold nib. Um, so really nice. I like this one a lot. <laughs> um, all right, moving right along. 
This one here is the Blue Train, and this is inspired by the cocktail Blue Train, which I looked up yesterday. It has blue curacao in it, which is why, which is what gives it its blue color. And it really is, like based on the pictures from the internet, this kind of bright, um, bright blue. Um, so this is like a well done color pairing by Sailor. So here we have a um, solid blue cap with, it is actually, it's not opaque completely. It is semi translucent. I don't know if you guys can tell, but when you see, when you can, when you put the pen in and put the cap on, you can sort of see the shadow of the pen in there. So that's nice. And then the barrel of the pen is definitely translucent. So you would be able to to see if you had a converter in there or a cartridge in there, you'd be able to see the shadow of that as well. Um, the cap finial here is the same matching bright blue color, so it goes straight from the cap into the finial and it's the same matching color. And then the end finial is just clear transparent. So it's cool that you can see into the pen from the end finial there. Um, and then twisting off the cap, the grip section is the same matching bright blue color that the cap and the finial are. And this one has silver trim, rhodium plated nib. So this one is the blue train. There you go. Um, okay. Next one that we're gonna be talking about is called the Argentina. And this is, I don't know, I actually don't know anything about this cocktail. I, I didn't have a chance to look it up, but I like it. Um, I like the fiery orange of it. And this is the only one in the cocktail series that was released that has some glitter detail on the body. So I'm trying to hold the pen up close to the camera and turning it a little bit so you guys can see. It's not like a really, really heavily glitter density um, pen, but it is like lightly scattered in there um, with small glitter details. And it's kind of subtle because the color of the pen is so bright already. And it's kind of nice. You just kind of see the glitter detail once you look at the pen up close. All right, so this is the Argentina with silver trim, and it has these sunny yellow finials at the cap finial, as well as on the end finial there. And let's see what the grip looks like. Um, okay, so the grip is the matching um, fiery orange. It's definitely orange, like may maybe some of you are having a hard time telling if it's more red in person, but it's certainly an orange. It's like a clementine orange, um, and it is semi-translucent, so you can see into the pen, and you can definitely see through the pen in the light. Okay. The last one that we're gonna be talking about is the Around the World. Wait, is this one? Yeah, this is the Around the World. I really had to study all of my um, cocktails. <laughs> um, so this one is the Around the World, and it is really fun. It's almost like, it looks like this pen would glow in the dark. It's that kind of green. And because it's semi-translucent, it does glow a little bit. So it really does look like a glow in the dark situation. Um, it is a sort of lime green um, to green, like light green. So the, the cap is like a lime green and then the body, the barrel is like a, this is more of like your proper glow in the dark green, I would say. So they might look similar. They're really close shades of green, but they're actually slightly different. So you can definitely tell, and those two colors of green play off of one another. The end finial is the same uh, lime green that matches the cap, and then the cap finial is actually a totally, completely different green. This is like a solid green, proper green. And 
this pen is just like a glorious green. Um, you'd think this would be my favorite, but I think the Gin Martini is my favorite, <laughs> knowing my history of loving green pens. Now, looking at the grip section, it is actually a matching color from the barrel. So it goes straight to the barrel, um, from the barrel to the grip. And this pen has the gold plating and the gold trim, gold clip. Um, yeah. So there you have it. These are the new cocktail series pens inspired by gin-based cocktails. The Violet Fizz, the Gin Martini, the Blue Train, Argentina, and the Around the World. Let us know in the comments what you guys like best, which one you guys like best. Thanks for watching.